what's going on everybody welcome back to mid-level media your hub for everything physical media and entertainment and guys i got some something something pretty cool something pretty cool to show off to you guys today i've got the paramount scares volume 2 box set we're going to be doing a full showcase of this look at this thing guys I don't even have it out of the plastic yet. We're going to do the unboxing together over at the unboxing table here in a second. But I just wanted to kind of show this off and, and talk about this release a little bit. I'll show you the back and, and you can see the movies that are in this set. You've got Friday the 13th Part 2. You've got Orphan, uh, First Kill on 4K, which is the sequel to the original Orphan. that The sequel came out, I believe, back in 2022. You've got Breakdown with Kurt Russell and you've got World War Z all in this box set on 4K, three of which are on 4K for the very first time. Now, I understand the controversy with this release and just the controversy with box sets that lock 4Ks within their box set. Like, you can't get Friday the 13th Part 2, Breakdown, um, and Orphan First Kill standalone on 4K. Now, World War Z is available from Screen Factory right now if you want to get that 4K, but I think that 4K is going for like almost 30 bucks, which is pretty much just half of the price of this box set right here, which we'll get into that here in a second. I understand that controversy, but I fully expect though they will do a standalone of Friday the 13th Part 2 at least, and I believe there are currently pre-orders, guys, overseas in the UK uh, for Friday the 13th Part 2 and Breakdown on 4K. So if you wanted to import those titles standalone, you can do so. But this is the Paramount Scares box set Volume 2, guys. They did Volume 1 last year. In my opinion, this is a stronger box set. This is a stronger lineup in this box set than the Paramount Scares Volume 1. Paramount Scares Volume 1, first off... They, they had multiple titles that were not on 4K for the first time that you may have already bought and added to your collection, like Smile on 4K, Crawl on 4K. All of those were already on 4K. Rosemary's Baby on 4K, that was released standalone alongside the box set. Um, I can't remember all that. Uh, Sweeney Todd, which was the mystery title, which they did not do a mystery title for this box set, which thank God, because I thought that was so stupid to do a mystery title. Um, and not tell everybody, like people want to know like what they're buying. Like what, what are you doing doing a mystery title? And then Sweeney Todd was announced that it was kind of leaked before the box set came out. And then everybody was disappointed that it was Sweeney Todd or not everybody. Some people really liked that movie. Um, and I can't remember, oh, Pet, Pet Cemetery on 4k, which was already on 4k that came out back in 2019, which I love Pet Cemetery, but like, and I love Rosemary's baby, the vast majority of of the movies in that box set, like I, I didn't really care about. In this box set, like I like World War Z, I don't love it, but I really enjoyed the Orphan sequel. Breakdown is an incredible film. That right when I watched that for the first time, like I think three or four months ago, uh, I watched the Paramount Presents release, and the entire time I'm watching that movie, I'm like, this would look amazing on 4K. So I, I cannot wait to watch that movie on 4K. Yes, I will rewatch it. Friday the 13th Part 2 is my favorite Friday the 13th movie, and I, I'm i I'm actually, um, I feel like I'm on an island with Friday the 13th on 4K. I'm one of the people that liked that 4K. I really like that 4K, so I'm interested to see what they're going to do with Friday the 13th Part 2 on 4K. I will for sure be, I don't know if I'm going to do standalone reviews for all these 4Ks. I will for sure do a standalone review for Friday the 13th Part 2. That will happen, and possibly um, Breakdown and maybe Orphan First Kill as well. Maybe all of them, guys. I'll try to do as much as I as much as I possibly can. But this is just a just an introduction um, to this box set. Yeah, I, I love Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Orphan First Kills a really good sequel. So I think the movies in this set. I think this is a good lineup. And let's talk about the price point real, real quick, guys. We'll get into the unboxing in a second. Don't worry, guys. Uh, but this is going for sixty three. Um, 19 right now on Amazon. There are boutique companies right now um, and some studios, to be completely honest, that are selling steel books and premium editions for, um, if not that price, just slightly lower than that price, almost at that price. So there are some companies, some boutique labels that are selling one movie at that price point. Paramount is asking for uh, $63 for four movies on 4K in this really nice package box set, you got a Fangoria magazine in here. You got an awesome poster that was illustrated by Mexifunk, who's an incredible artist. Our cards, and I think they're, I, I don't know if those are pins or not. We'll get into it here in a second. They all got slip covers on them with individual artwork. Like, to me, guys, like, it's, it's a no-brainer. Like, why? 
I get it if you don't like the movies in this box set, but it's like, why would you hesitate to to jump on this? Like, if you like the movies in this box set and, you know, you don't have, obviously you don't have any of them on 4K because three of them are on 4K for the first time within this box set. To me, it's like a no-brainer. Like, go ahead and jump on this. This is a really nice box set at a really good price. There are some boutique labels, guys, that are selling releases for three times this box set for just one movie and I know that because I purchased one of those releases which we'll talk about later this year but to me it's a no-brainer guys like this is an incredible box set and I will say this guys Paramount sent this to me early to review and showcase for you guys and I'm giving you my honest thoughts like I always do I'm really not trying to pimp out this box set I I really think it's worth it I think it's an incredible um, lineup in this set. I think they're really good movies in this set. I think it's awesome packaging, which we'll get into here in a second. Again, like I said, guys, and we'll find out how much more awesome this packaging is. But yeah, that's it. That's just my thoughts, guys. That's just my thoughts. You can disagree. Look, if you're not into any of these movies, I totally get it. Like, don't get the box set. But like, if you have an interest in these films and you want to see them on 4K, like, I wouldn't hesitate. It's a great price. Like, maybe it'll go up in a few weeks. Maybe it'll go down slightly more. Paramount Scares Volume 1 is currently, I think, 56 bucks, and that's five 4Ks. Like, for me, the value is there. Most certainly, the value is there. You're talking about 4Ks for 15 bucks. Like, you don't get that with any other studio or any other boutique label at this point, unless it's like Black Friday or something. So this is an incredible uh, release right here with an incredible price point. I will be linking it down below if you're interested. Like I said, guys, I'm really not trying to force anybody to buy this set, but I, from my perspective, it's an incredible deal. It, it's a great box set at an incredible price point. Let me quit yapping. Okay, that's just, I just, I said my piece on the box set. Let's go unbox it and see all what's inside. I'm excited to get into it. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we're over here at the unboxing table. And look at this artwork, guys. This is just incredible. The way they combined all these movies together is just freaking awesome. Like, look at this. You got Baghead Jason over here. You got Orphan Esther right there in the middle. You got plenty of zombies from World War Z. You got the Camp Crystal Lake logo right there. You got freaking Kurt Russell in front of the semi that's in front or that's behind the, uh, the Jason's mom's head. Like... This, this is just awesome. Like, I think the artwork on this is way better than... Par Not only is the lineup better, in my opinion, but I think the artwork is way better than Paramount Scares Volume 1. So, just incredible artwork, guys. I'm going to show you the, the bottom right here. I love the green, too. I think the green is super awesome. Like, it really pops. Whereas the first volume, like, that red just did not, did not pop. And on the side right here, you got Paramount Scares Volume 2. And like I was saying, guys, I really hope we get a volume three. Like, I just, I, I really love this line right here. I think it's super cool and super affordable. It's not like the Sony sets that cost like $150, $160. Get $63 for this set, guys. But let's, uh, did I show you the back? I showed you the back, right? You got more green swirls and artwork and some cool stuff. Let me show you the J car real quick because I did remove this when I removed the plastic. But you got uh, the four movies right there, guys. You got the in-depth look at what's all in this box set. And all these have Blu-rays as well. You got the 4K and the Blu-rays. And um, iron-on patches. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to see those. And you got details on all the movies. All rated R except for World War Z. And um, some specs and stuff down there at the bottom. I imagine that most of these have Dolby Vision HDR. And some will have Dolby Atmos. I don't think all of them will have Dolby Atmos. But... We'll see when we get into it. All right, let's take this. You got to take the top off. You pretty much just remove this like a lid or something. And then we'll set that over there. And right there on top, guys, we have the Fangoria magazine, which is freaking awesome. Look at this, guys. You got the severed head right there on the front from Friday the 13th Part 2. You got the other movies on the side. This just shows you like what they consider to be the centerpiece of this box set right here, Friday the 13th Part 2. Um, I love it, guys. I, I just think it's super cool. Just, like, the aesthetic of it and what all they include here. Like, you just don't get this at everybody. You just don't. Like, all the other boutique labels, all the other studios, like, I just, I don't know. To put this kind of effort into this for the price, I just think is really fantastic. You will not see anybody else create something like this and charge 63 bucks. You just will not. Paramount is the only 
only studio that I think would do that. All right, let's open this up. And incredible artwork on this poster. I don't feel like I'm doing this poster justice right here, um, but I will try to do my best to show it off. Um, but the artwork by Mexi Funk is just amazing. Just amazing. I mean, it's pretty similar artwork as the cover, but just kind of laid out differently. You do have Jenny right there, which is super awesome. Yeah, Mexi Funk, you did an incredible job. An absolutely incredible job of this. Like, I definitely want to frame this and get it on the wall. I think it's incredible. Uh, so, great poster right there. And then you take this off and you get some of the little extras and additives. You got the iron on patches, which kind of reminds me of like, I mean, I used to be in the Boy Scouts, so they kind of remind me of like merit badges or something. But <laughs> the Camp Crystal Lake is, is pretty cool. Um, you know, if you want to add, if you want to have 15 pieces of flair, you know, on you at all times, this, this could help add to that. So yeah, I'm not going to take those out though. You can pretty much see those right here. You got some kind of a, some kind of a sticker magnet piece. I don't know exactly what this is. It kind, it kind of feels like a magnet, but this is like sticky stuff that's on the back right there. And that's the logo for Paramount Scares. And then you got the pin guys. Look, if this was coming out from Screen Factory, like this pin would add on an extra $20 to this release. <laughs> like it would be 85 bucks <laughs> instead of 63 um, just because of this pin right here. So just think about that. So incredible. Let's take this out right there. And just the presentation is awesome, guys. It's just awesome. And then we'll get into these. All of them have individual slip covers. Now, I'll be honest, I don't love the slip covers. I didn't love the slip. I will say they're nicer than volume one. Again, I think all around like this is a better box set, guys. It is minus one movie. Um, but I think it's a better box set overall, just in terms of packaging and the movies. But like, I still don't love them. Like, I would much prefer to have some kind of, like, new artwork for the film and, you know, the 4K logo at the top and just more traditional, like, slipcovers for these movies. Just in case, you know, like, maybe you didn't want to keep... Maybe you want to keep this box set, like... Maybe you just couldn't fit it on your shelves or something. And you wanted to keep the box set somewhere else with all the extra stuff, the magazine and all that stuff in it. And you want to have the movies, like, with the... And you could still do this, guys, but... You want to have the movies on the shelf, like alphabetized within your collection, uh, so you can grab them a little bit more easy. Because sometimes it is a pain in the ass to like get the movies out of the box set that you want to watch and get it off the shelf. And sometimes you just want it on the shelf so you can quickly grab it off the shelf. And I mean, you can still put these on there, but again, it's not like your traditional uh, slip cover. So I would like a more traditional slip cover, but they tried to be different, do something different. So that's I can't really like fault them for that. And I do think the artwork's cool. I just, I don't know, I would rather have the actual title of the movie on there, just more like traditional poster, 4K at the top, like just that kind of thing. Paramount Scares logo down there. And this is pretty cool. This is from Orphan, I'm pretty sure. And you got Orphan First Kill logo on the side. So at least you have the logo on the side. Like I think these would look good on the shelf. Like if you just put them on the shelf, like at least you have the 4K you know, logo right there. So that's cool. And then you got a nice quote on the back. I'm a sucker for a good quote on the back of the the case take it out of the take it out of the slip cover right there you got orphan first kill and i'm not going to bother to like go into the packaging here guys or take the plastic off or anything like that but uh i'm trying to see if this has any like new special features i don't think any of these have new special features but i know this got a blu-ray release from paramount i don't know if they added anything in terms of special features on that at all because this doesn't look like it has any uh, features included so that's interesting but i i like this poster it's a good poster and this is a really good movie i thought i thought it was a really good sequel to the to the first orphan movie with a really like unique twist like interesting twist in the film all right so next up this is world war z and i'll show you the side show you the back right there mother nature is a serial killer no one's better or more creative and then you got world war z right there take this out of the case so i have removed the plastic on this one uh, because i wanted to get to the bottom of because this has this has both cuts in it it has the unrated cut included but i didn't know if the unrated cut was going to be on the 4k or if it was going to be on the blu-ray and since it doesn't really show you on the back i was going to 
show uh, see if it said it on the actual disc itself so it looks like the 4k is just the regular movie and it looks like the blu-ray is the unrated version of this and then you got special features now i don't know if there were new special features because this has a behind the scenes featurette a compelling insider look at the creation of the wwz apocalypse so i don't know if there were new features on the screen factory uh, shot factory blu-ray or not but i imagine this has the same features as the uh the paramount blu-ray from back in the day so so there you go guys you do have both cuts it's just that the unrated cuts is on the blu-ray and the theatrical cut is the 4k you do not get the unrated cut on 4k and next up guys we got the we got the centerpiece right here friday the 13th part two look at that i i do like that axe with jenny kind of in there and then you got like a back uh, perspective of Jason as he's like, oh, that's a pretty cool look. That's a pretty cool look right there. And then you got the logo on the side. You're all doomed. You're all doomed. Freaking awesome. Crazy Ralph. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. I love the 4K tray. See, I would just, I want the slip cover. That says Friday the 13th Part 2. That looks just like this. Just like the first one. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. If they, they do it standalone. I don't know if I... I really don't want to rebuy this just for a slipcover. I probably won't. But, like, I would want it. I would want somebody to send it to me or something. Sell it to me for five bucks. Maybe I'll get it then. And then right here, I imagine all these features are probably on the Scream Factor release. And then the one that Paramount did. Uh, the, the Steelbook release for that. So... Yeah, I, I can't wait to watch this, though. I, I want to see if it's similar to the first one in terms of how it looks. I wonder if it's going to be controversial like the, four, the first one as well. So that is Friday the 13th Part 2. And lastly is Breakdown with Kurt Russell, which is significant, guys, because the Paramount Presents release that they did a few years ago, that is out of print. Like, I don't think you can get that for below. Maybe you can get it for cheaper now because this box set's coming out. But I don't think you can get that for below, like, 70, 80 bucks. So that Blu-ray was out of print. So if they didn't put this out at all, like, that Blu-ray would still be going for 70, 80 bucks. And that would be the only way that you could have breakdown in a higher definition. So I think it's awesome they included this, you know, in this box set. And now you can own breakdown on 4K and stunning HDR and Dolby Vision. So just incredible, guys. I love the cover, too. I love the traditional poster. Breakdown. Bam, bam, bam. It looks like this has all the same features as uh, the Paramount Presents release as well, which is very cool. And trying to see if this... I don't know, like, which one of these movies has the Dolby Atmos. I didn't go through all that, but I, I did show it off, so maybe you guys caught it. But there you have it, guys. That is the... Paramount Scares box set volume two. There was a digital code included as well. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I kind of went through this box set a little bit before I shot this video. There was a digital code included and um, I took it out. So I think the digital code I'm looking at right now because I'll probably give this away at, at some point. It actually, no, it has, all, it has all of them. It had three films on the back and it had the other one on the front. So it has digital codes, 4K digital codes for all four of those movies and they're individual they're not all like tied to the same code so that is cool but that's the box set guys i i think it's totally worth it i'm not sitting here trying to tell you guys to buy this box set like you don't have to buy it if you're not interested in the movies then don't buy it but i am i do want to comment on the worth of this box set and i think that as as far as the value here for the money that you're spending it's totally worth it i think it's totally worth it 63.19 to get this box set. It might be cheaper in a few weeks. It might be more expensive. Who knows? Um, but I think it's totally worth it. If you're interested in any of these movies and watching them on 4K, I think it's a great value. So definitely uh, check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and follow me on all my social media accounts. I'm on, I'm on Letterboxd. I'm on X. I'm on um, Instagram, TikTok. I'm on all the places, guys. Follow me and we'll see you next time.